Will you send in the military to any cities in particular to restore that law and order? Well, it depends. I don't think we'll have to. Uh, we have very strong powers to do it. Uh, the National Guard is, is customary, and we have a very powerful National Guard, uh, over 300,000 men and women, and we can do pretty much whatever we want as far as that. But as far as going beyond that, sure, if it was necessary. We have Antifa, we have anarchists, we have terrorists, we have looters. We have a lot of bad people in those groups. I mean, you watch and you see. Now, if you watch MSDNC or if you watch which is one of them. And if you watch fake news, CNN, totally fake news. I mean, I watch, it's almost like these are the most wonderful people on earth. They're not. Right. When you look at the real clips, they're not. They're not. There are a lot of bad people. And there are a lot of good people. There's some great people. But there are a lot of really, really bad people in there. And uh, you have a lot of radical left crazy people. And you have people that don't want good for our country. At the same time, we need healing and all of those things. But we need safety in our cities. And when they don't take care of it, we took care of it in Washington, D.C. I said two days ago, this is the safest place on Earth. We brought in incredible people. They took care of the situation very easily. It was very easy for them. And in Minnesota, as you know, we took care of that situation with their great city. We took care of it very easily. Once they went through three days of hell, and I had to say, you got to get them in. Once they came in, it was like a knife cutting butter. It was so easy. And, but we have other cities they like to hold out. New York is disaster what's going on in New York. And we could help them a lot. They have to ask. If they don't get it straightened out soon, I'll take care of it.